Hi, this is Ryan with BetterTattooing.com. Sitting in the garage, had a couple drinks, figured, hey, why not make a video? And today, let's talk about, is the skin overworked? <laughs> Now that that's over, how do we tell if skin is overworked? All right, so there's a few things. We can just create a bullet list on this one rather than drawing a bunch of really horrible pictures. So first thing we can tell if the skin is overworked, right? Is it weeping actively? So what does actively weeping mean? So normally when you like damage the skin during a tattoo, you're going to see this thing called exudate, right? Exudate is just a bunch of like white blood cells and serum, stuff like this inside the skin that is normally expelled to try and you know, help heal an area, control infection, do stuff like this. It's in the um, upper layers of the skin. You're going to see it just kind of beat up on top. You take a little bit of Vaseline or Andy and you wipe it across the skin and you see it kind of beat up on top. That's exudate, right? And exudate dries. It makes like this clearish yellowish whitish kind of like crystal that's super duper rough and is bad for tattoos that are healing especially but it's not bad it's actually it's actually good right but if you don't like take some vaseline and rub it on top of the skin and see this exudate pop up if you just like are sitting there and it's just weeping like stuff is just pouring down someone's arm which i've done this a few times i had this dude we called him the terminator he came into a convention once and said nine and a half hours no breaks i would just like ground the hell out of his arm never peeped Never upset, never nothing. Just sat there and took it. I had to quit because I was in such pain with my back. But his skin was actively weeping. And I'm like, dude, it's been like nine and a half hours. It's time to stop. He said, I'm good, dude, don't worry. I'm like, dang, dude, like, you can't. Like, we can't do this. It's not going to be good. Why? Because the skin's getting overworked at that point in time. Now, most people are not going to last nine and a half hours before their skin gets overworked. Most people, it's somewhere between two and a half to three and a half hours. But, like I said, Terminator. Anyways. That's one of the first ones we can see. If it's weeping actively. If exudate is just rolling down the body. I'm going to do pictures anyways. That's all I always do. Um, then that's bad. Right? That one is going to be... We'll do this one. Uh, let's do this. Client is actively uh, complaining. Right? So we have this weird thing in tattooing where you see somebody complaining. It's like, Oh, it hurts. Well, yes, of course a tattoo hurts. You're being stabbed with a freaking needle. Right. But pain is subjective. And as a quality practitioner that, you know, if you are watching this video and you are a quality practitioner, you would know that like our job as a tattooer, when we're not doing something like a brutal black project or something like that is to try and minimize the amount of pain and make the experience enjoyable for the person who's getting the tattoo. So if your client is actively complaining, Right. And we'll say not at the beginning, like if they're actively complaining at the beginning, maybe, maybe at the beginning, maybe they are touch sensitive people and tattooing is just not a good idea for them. Like maybe they should not get a tattoo. Right. Like if if you go home and after a long day's work, you're like, oh, man, I just want to relax. You watch TV, you're probably a visually acutive person. Right. If you go and put on music or you do something else, maybe you watch TV, but you don't watch it. Right. You just like listen to it. You could be a sound sensitive person. That's fantastic. But if you have to like go from work to get a massage. And that's the only way you can relax your touch sensitive or touch cute a person. Getting tattoos is like fucking torture. So we don't, we can't make judgments on people just because it hurts. Maybe tattooing just isn't for them. Anyways, but if you're like two hours in and the client is actively complaining about the tattoo, they're like, man, this really hurts. You should probably stop. That's going to be a sign that the skin is getting overworked because the person is actually feeling that pain. They're sad. If they're sad, you need to listen to them. It's not so important that you need to finish your tattoo right like that. Just get that money, get out. No, no, no. The quality of the tattoo is going to degrade the more that you overwork the skin. That's just science, right? So it's better just to take a break, let them go away and heal, and not be scared about getting a tattoo when they come back, right? Because that, that's a big thing. If you overwork it and they're a ton of a pain, like people are not just going to like keep coming back for more. They want it to be a somewhat enjoyable experience. So... If the client is actively complaining, that's going to be one sign that the skin is overworked. Um, how about this? Have you taken too many breaks? This is a big one, right? So most clients, if you've been tattooing for more than a couple of years, you know, they're like, man, I had this dude do this tattoo and he took X amount of breaks. And every time he came back, it was worse and worse and worse. So when you take a break, especially if it's going to be greater than five minutes, right? What's going to happen is the body is going to start thinking that it's able to heal the wound that you're creating. So it doesn't want to get hurt anymore. <laughs> 
there's some greater science in the actual like pain and C fibers and stuff like this. We can get into another time, but like to keep it simple, if you keep your breaks underneath five minutes, you can do a bunch of them as long as they're not like every five minutes you're taking a five minute break but it's like if you take a five minute break for an hour the human body isn't going to start getting into that full mental repair mode right where you're like thinking like this is done and i can relax and the client's going to be able to sit longer um so yeah is the skin getting overworked if you've taken too many breaks yeah it will look and act like it's overworked so good rule of thumb every hour five minutes right every hour five minutes stand up walk around do what you got to do and then come back Let's see, can we come up with any other ones here? How's the skin? Is it overworked? Let's just do visual, right? Visually, it looks bad. So if you look at the tattoo and you've been running lines, you've been doing all this stuff, blah, 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 and it just looks stressed. It's swollen. It's red. There's radiating stuff that's coming out of it. Maybe there's some exit activity weeping out of it. Then, like, you've probably overworked the skin. So that'll take us to our next one, right? Have you done more than three passes on a section okay so this is this is crazy i i know that you know we can look at videos of the most famous people out there doing whatever the hell that they're doing i don't care if you do more than three passes on any section you're probably overworking the skin the idea is that it's one and done in tattooing right you can't really make repairs unless you're really good uh, or you go get laser, whatever. The idea is, is that if you have line work, right? Line work, shading, and color. Those are three passes, right? So if I go in and I do my line work, that should be one pass. Line work is done. I go and do my shading, it's done. If I go in and do my color after that as well, the tattoo is probably going to be at the point where it's overworked. If I go in to do highlights or sculpting additional black and stuff like that, you're just going to start chewing up the skin. So any section or spot of the body where you're doing a tattoo, if this is like one inch by one inch, right? Then if we go over it one time, two times, three times, you start to see like it gets chewed up. If you continue to do this, right, it'll just get more and more and more chewed up. So three passes is one of the easiest ways to ensure that you're not messing stuff up if you cannot get your tattoo in in three passes you need to slow down just take your time try to do things right focus on one thing at a time if you can't do three passes then just do three passes on line work let them go away and heal come back and do the shading if you can't get the shading in one pass maybe it's two or three passes that's fine do the shading let them go away and then come back after they're healed. And when you do this, you're going to ensure that the tattoo has some longevity. And also that the client isn't having to suffer unnecessarily financially or physically having to heal the tattoo for additional time when they would probably just rather get it done and then go out and enjoy the goddamn sun. Or pay for all the touch-ups. Because I know a lot of people out there will do that. They'll do the tattoo. They overwork it. Somebody comes back like, oh, you didn't take care of it well. Or maybe I had a problem with my ink. Or maybe there's some other type of external influence that's caused this tattoo to heal that way rather than taking it on themselves. They overwork the goddamn tattoo, right? And that harms the client. The end user is going to be the ultimate goal here. Their satisfaction is all that matters. So, gone over a little bit on time, but here we go. Is the skin overworked? We have a few things we checked out here. More often than not, as long as you stick to the three passes, it's not actively seeking, seeping exudate. It, your client isn't actively complaining. You haven't taken too many breaks and it doesn't look bad visually. You can be sure that your skin's going to be all right. Anyways, bettertattooing.com. This is Ryan. Checking out.